Hey everybody, this is Will of Carolina Thread Place. Today we are going to show you how you can sublimate on glass panels. These are a poly-coated, a one-sided um, glass panel. One side is shiny, as you can see there, and one side is matte. This is the side you're gonna sublimate on. So, awesome, awesome gift ideas. Also great products for photographers to offer something extra to their customers. So stay tuned on how to supplement on glass panels. So as you can see with glass panels, we don't need much. All we need is what we're printing, the glass panels itself, and heat resistant tape. So what's very important when it comes to glass panels is to be sure that the area that is being substrated on is clean so we get tissue and as you can see this is a shiny side and then we have this non shiny side this is the side that we're going to substrate on so always make sure that it's nice and clean you do not want to use any uh, cleaners on it just rub it clean with the tissue so once we know it's clean we want to put it on since we're not touching the substrate area we can take our gloves off center it or put it where you want it and tape it down. So that one is ready for pressing. Same here. And there we have it. They are ready to be pressed. So let's get over to the press. So with glass picture panels, what you wanna do is have it set to 400 degrees, 100 seconds. And this is heavy pressure. So first things first, we put our pictures We cover it with our protective paper and then we test to see where the pressure is. So you're going to look at about a seven or eight. So I have it about a seven and we're going to let this bake for a hundred seconds. Alrighty, so we are up, remove the protective paper, and just pull, push one side up, and as you can see, we have a good transfer, well, let me can. We pull it one side, and you see we have a good transfer. And when it comes to these panels, they are extremely hot. So, once you flip it over, 
there you have it. Again, a good transfer. And this is glass, so it does take an extended amount of time to cool off. So there you have it. And there you have it. Glass photo frames. As you can see here, they can illuminate with a little bit of light behind it. You can see my hand shadow through it. These would be great to have on a stand with a little candle behind it or, you know, a little light or something to kind of illuminate the picture itself. And the good thing about these is they're really easy to make and they're great gifts. Also, rule of thumb on these particular things, you want to print it non-mirrored. So if there's any type or anything on the frame that you decide to put on in the picture and stuff, you will not mirror the image. It needs to be exactly like you would normally see it because this is the side we supplement on, this is the side that you see. So as you can see, well, there is no type on this one, so, but, as you can see on this one, there is type on my shirt and it is not mirrored. But if I would have mirrored it, it would have looked like, oh, it's the, it would look like that. So, sorry, the camera switched, so everything's mirrored from what I see. But anyways, these make great gifts and they are great products for photographers. So, definitely check them out and they get bigger, they do have bigger sizes of these. They also have the metallic ones as well. And this is me and my niece. I just did this on, on off camera because I already have another video for these. I just wanted to get this one done. So, as always, be sure to like this video if you learned anything. Comment below anything else that you would like for me to um, supplement on or potentially supplement on. Um, I am limited to the equipment I have access to now. Um, but anyways, subscribe to my channel. There's other videos coming out with supplementation soon. And always enjoy supplementation, enjoy embroidery. And also, every Friday, I do a live stream at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So definitely check that out as well. And until then, you have a wonderful night.